This Teachable Moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. With the goal of reducing door-to-balloon times, learn how a team from Allegheny General Hospital took the process to just under 70 minutes. We understood that we had an opportunity for improvement when we discovered that our door-to-balloon time was just short of 160 minutes in the third quarter of 2006. One of the first things we had to do was create team meetings. Everybody had to get on the same page. So we created a door-to-balloon committee. It wasn't through the ideas of the cardiologists. It was through the ideas and creativity of the emergency room physicians. They said, hey, why don't we do this like a trauma code? The initial step that we looked at was the time from when the ambulance would pick up the patient in their home and arrive to the emergency department. Now, there's not a whole lot that can be done about that travel time, but a whole lot that can be done during that period of time. Many of the ambulance services were taught and given the technology, number one, to perform electrocardiograms at the patient's home prior to transport, and then to transmit that electrocardiogram to us in the emergency department. We are going to go ahead and uh, send that to you right now. After we had uh, utilized all our training and techniques of perfecting patient care, the processes that we had gotten to utilize really start with the paramedic at the patient's house being able to perform an electrocardiogram. And it is then transmitted uh, electronically. When it's received in the emergency department, a very loud and obnoxious bell rings. That notifies the monitor text to get that immediately to the emergency medicine attending physician to interpret. If that interpretation is of uh, an acute myocardial infarction, they immediately call 1111, the emergency line within the hospital, and tell the operator to send out that alert to everyone. So with that notification, at the same time, things are functioning in parallel. If you take a patient... Hey guys, hey Mr. P, how you doing? We're gonna take you straight to the lab. And the time they go from the door to when the balloon is opened, and it takes 150 minutes, the mortality is 7%, approaching 8%. If that same patient population has the artery opened in less than one hour, it's 1%. We strive for perfection. Understanding it can't be reached, but we are always going to try to get down to zero percent. 